Blam! 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 OG! OG! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have a ton of OGs on the channel right now. I went ahead and grabbed six pairs of original Reebok kicks from 90s, late 90s to mid 90s. Some of those you guys probably have never seen. Some of those I almost forgot about. It's been such a long time since I've seen these ones. It's incredible that I can find them in a DS stage. Such a great condition and they're absolutely amazing. We're gonna talk about all of them in separate videos. As you can see, there's a tons of OG uh, boxes around me everywhere. But the first one we're gonna talk about is this one. This is the Iverson Box Reebok Original 2001 answer five and this is the beautiful white metallic silver and fl red i don't know what the fl red is flying red flash red something red let's check them out guys original paper and everything and they look absolutely crispy perfectly preserved the condition of those man it's just amazing as always they're all my size eight and a half and we're gonna go to the specs real quick and show you what we are missing in some of those later retros that just came out so first thing first hopefully the camera picks that up but we have a reflective all around trim where in the retro the reflective is only on the top and not on the midsole i don't know why reebok chose to do that but here we are and obviously the top and all around it's this beautiful tumbled genuine leather that you guys are familiar with luckily even the retros can uh, be proud of using uh, genuine leather obviously on the original one it's a lot better and i absolutely love it and at the bottom we have those translucent spots with obvious iverson signature right on top and dmx uh, and the rest of it we know it's a combination between solid rubber and 3d ultralight so we have some solid rubber patches here on the side in the back as well and the 3d ultralight midsole extends to the outsole on here on the front we have dmx system obviously uh, this is not your regular six pods or ten pods this is kind of like well it's kind it's kind of like six pods but they're uh, sort of placed on top of it uh, from similar to what they're doing today with uh, these small pack uh, DMX uh, systems they, they are installing uh, so it's top loaded um, if I find a picture I'm gonna actually show it right here you guys can see how that exactly that DMX system looks like um, and the only flaw I see in this particular pair well there's two of them but the one that I'm seeing right off the bat is the cracking here on the reflective material that was 3m actually on back in the day because this is the only portion that it's synthetic leather right here and the coating on top of it is peeling if you bend it obviously that's going to be uh, one of the negatives but uh, the inner aligner which is kind of like this vinyl sort of thing I mean, you know sometimes people say it's leather but i think it's synthetic uh, vinyl it's not cracking or peeling whatsoever you can see Iverson's face right there with the insole and as you guys know some of the greatest things about these insoles when they're new they are polyurethane 10 and they're super cushy great comfort unfortunately because this is almost 20 years old shoe uh, when you even press a little bit you'll see how it collapses i'm not even going to pull that insole because it's going to crumble completely i think i've shown you in some videos in the past what happens to these polyurethane insoles they're amazing while they're uh, you know new and you wear them but if they're sitting like that like this uh, they kind of deteriorate the uh, molecules in the polyurethane is starting to break so it kind of crumbles uh, and if you just watch them you know keep them like this they're they're fine but if you want to wear the shoe which this is completely wearable no sole separation none of that stuff and being leather you can definitely wear them um, but you're gonna have to take that insole out scrape all the polyurethane out and put something else that you might want to use there we have the same mesh tone uh, as some of the retros do have with the iverson logo right on top the i3 and one of the favorite touches for me is this logo right here that jewel i3 logo super nice and fresh and in the back we have the obligatory hook and loop strap uh, right there with again iverson 
signature right on the back of it but yeah i think these are extremely nice super crispy uh, i wish that i can pull that insole man it's just it's just beating me down but uh, at least we have the sticker that it says uppers of leather and non-made made materials right here still og keep it og great insole maybe if i find some of those insoles the later uh retros it did i can swap them and still wear the shoe because it's great man this is you know this is the, the tag inside old school reebok tags right there with the red vector uh, eyelids are nice i mean being a full a leather shoe almost especially where you expect them to kind of you know uh, peel and do all that stuff and look how soft this leather is this is super nice this was premium premium making shoes uh, back in the day when reebok were actually putting some effort into creating something new and different um, and i absolutely love these i'm gonna try to do on feet what do you guys think i'm gonna try to walk around with them i know that it's gonna be challenging and my foot probably gonna leave an imprint on the uh, polyurethane insole inside but it is what it is i really want to put them on feet and feel that original dmx as always uh, that little detail again here it's rubberized iverson right on on the back of the uh, hook and loop strap hopefully you guys can see that as well uh, super soft and responsive midsole still i mean both of them are in a perfect condition you know outside of this little cracking here and the uh, insoles they're great leather is great uh, no significant yellowing, you know, maybe a little bit on the jeweled logos on the side But that's about it. I mean, just look at the padding Look at the padding on the side again super huge and thick padding like some of the other OGs I showed you I uh, really really like how the reflective material extends all the way in even on the outsole here So when you blast it with some light it becomes super reflective all around and you know, we have the Iverson logo again, DMX and Iverson signature. So that's really emphasized on these shoes. Also is the DMX right here. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're gorgeous. I mean, this is why I hold on to not getting any of the retros. I was hoping to get an original pair and I finally was able to find one. Uh, and same seller, I was able to actually acquire six original pairs of different models you guys are gonna see them through different videos you're gonna see them on feet like i mentioned some of them are pretty unique i personally even forgot about some of them i haven't seen them in years and years and years in anywhere on the internet so you guys are gonna be surprised a lot you're gonna love it so yeah, that's pretty much it. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you're new. Do you know how we do it here? I'm bringing you a lot of Reebok history and a lot of OGs. You're gonna have a tons of videos coming your way with these beautiful shoes. We're gonna do a tons of things. I'm gonna do an updated collection video. I'm gonna do technology breakdowns, all kinds of stuff, guys. So stick with me here, support the channel. And as always, guys, I will see you on the next one. You have a wonderful day. Blam, OG.